So on Friday, Valve dropped a Steam beta client that introduced a new feature we've speculated was coming for a while now. There had been a ton of leaks that Valve was working on a way to transfer games between a player's computer since November of last year. But Valve finally debuted this feature in a beta channel Steam update. Users who opt into the Steam beta on both of their systems will be able to transfer games from PC to Steam Deck and from PC to PC without the need of connecting to a Steam content delivery server on the internet. This feature can be a boon for those with data caps or with slow internet connections. And that's because if you've downloaded a game once on your device, then all of those files can be transferred across your local network, downloading faster and not using any internet bandwidth. But now that we have access to this tool, we've naturally got to ask, how does it work? And is it actually a time saver? So first, let's go over how to actually use LAN transfer. First, opt your desktop into the Steam beta client. To do this, click Steam, Settings. Under the Account tab, you'll see Beta Participation. Click the Change button. And then from this drop down menu, select Steam Beta Update. It'll restart Steam and download the latest beta version. Once you're running the beta client, by default, Steam will uh, be set to allow transfers to and from my devices. You can choose an alternate sharing level by selecting Steam, Settings, Downloads, and then Game File Transfer over Local Network. I've chosen to allow transfers to and from my Steam friends. Next, install a game that you don't have on your Steam Deck or other machine. The third step here is to opt your Steam Deck or your other machine into the beta client as well. To do this on your Steam Deck, hit the Steam menu, go to Settings, under System, scroll down to the Beta Participation section, and then choose Beta from the drop-down menu. Your Steam Deck will then restart and download the latest version of the Steam Beta. On the Steam Deck, by default, it will be set to allow transfers from my devices. On the Steam Deck, you can navigate to Settings, Downloads, Game File Transfer over Local Network. The fourth step is, once the game has finished downloading on your PC, start the same game downloading on your Steam Deck or other device. You should then see this purple graph showing that the game is being uploaded from your PC to your Steam Deck. It's interesting to note here that in my testing, transferring a game from PC to my Steam Deck was only marginally faster than it was to download the game over the internet. I have a fiber connection here that tops out at around 32 megabytes a second, and that is megabytes per second. What I find interesting is that Steam seems to have throttled local network sharing to around 36 megabytes per second, which is nominally faster. Now, why would they do this? Well, you can see that when Steam is sharing files, it consumes a not insignificant amount of system resources. Most modern networks can easily support one gigabit throughput, yet we're doing a quarter of that here. If Steam were to triple the network throughput, it could easily consume over a quarter of all CPU time and increase disk usage. Not to mention, it could overwhelm your local network too. And seeing as LAN transfers are only marginally faster for me than downloading directly from Steam's CDNs, I'd like to see an option to allow me to utilize much more of my LAN speed. Of note here, while I can download games to my Steam Deck from my PC, the reverse is not possible. Perhaps this is a battery consideration, who knows. It's reflected in the UI too. The desktop client mentions to slash from my devices, while the deck only says from my own devices. This feature allows your PC to transfer files to and from other PCs or Steam Decks on your local network, reducing your internet traffic while downloading or updating a game. And on the Steam Deck it says, if this is enabled, Steam allows to transfer game files from other PCs on your local network, reducing your internet traffic while downloading or updating a game. But see, the problem is, I don't use this PC to play games, despite it having a Ryzen 9 5900X, an RTX 3080, and a 128 gigabytes of RAM. It's my video editing rig, that's the only thing that I use it for. It's its only purpose. But if the fancy should strike me and I wanna play a PC game on this, I wish that my recently updated Steam Deck with two terabytes of total storage could act as a local repository of sorts. I have over a hundred games installed on my Steam Deck. I have three games installed on my PC. And I get it, I mean, my use case here is definitely uncommon, at least it is today. However, the Steam Deck's broad appeal and the fact that it is several of my friends' first encounters with true PC gaming means that my situation is becoming less rare. I was extremely excited for this feature to drop. The question is, am I still excited for it now that I fully grok its implementation? 
Well, look, I think this will definitely help people who have limited connections. If you've got no other option and you're stuck with a cable or a DSL connection, or if your internet connection is metered, like say four or 5G, then you'll definitely find this saves you a ton of time, especially if you're the target market for this feature to begin with. A PC gamer who just bought a Steam Deck who already has most of their Steam library downloaded to their PC. But if you're someone like me who has a fiber connection uh, and you're looking to share your games that you've downloaded onto your Steam Deck to your PC, you're gonna find that you can't really do that. It's gonna be simpler and just about as fast to download your games right from Steam servers at the outset. But it would be cool for someone who has a cable connection that's slow or a data capped home service to take their Steam Deck to the library and download games or somewhere else and then come home and share those games with the PC. The way Valve has implemented this, you simply can't do that right now. Now, I want to know what you think about all of this because you probably have a different situation than I do. Well, will you be using this feature to save you time and bandwidth? I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. Now I gotta ask you a question. Why haven't you liked that smash button yet? It keeps you up to date with all the cool stuff that we're doing here on the channel. You can also subscribe if that's more your speed. Uh, you've got a couple days left to sign up for the Steam Deck giveaway that's going on on my website. Uh, so use the links below or the link on screen right here to sign up for that. I wanna give a special shout out to my patrons without whom I wouldn't be able to do any of this. It's because of them that I have been able to grow this show into what it's become today. And if you wanna help this show grow, you can use the links below to become a patron or a YouTube member. It's all greatly appreciated. That's gonna do it for now though. Thank you for spending time with me today and I'll see you in the next one.